utter rubbish how opposition leader Mark Golding is describing comments from government entities regarding the Mocha Fest party in Negril, Westmoreland last Thursday. Mr. Golding says the party highlights double standards in how the government enforces laws. He says he does not believe the claim no official knew of the party beforehand. The tourism ministry, in the meantime, says it is working not to have a repeat. Giovanni Dennis picks up the story. I think the government has some egg on its face over it because they're pretending they didn't know about it. And of course, that's just rubbish. Opposition leader Mark Golding on the government's response to the Mocha Fest party at Rick's Cafe in Negril last Thursday. He argues the entire episode is symptomatic of wider inequalities and double standards in Jamaica. Because there's very little going on, so a major event like that in the grill must have been known to the government. The truth is that they have been quietly trying to facilitate the tourism industry, which I understand, but I just think the way in which entertainment events have been treated locally versus foreigners is just not right. We can't have the law with this double standard. Youths on the street are being held and arrested and charged for breach these disaster risk management act orders in their own land and that foreigners can come here and do the exact same thing without any problems whatsoever it is the lack of equal treatment under the law that bothers me he believes the double standard is no creating problems because people feel frustrated and even resentful when they know that they have been impacted so hard in in terms of their access to entertainment or Indeed, the entertainment industry that makes a living out of providing entertainment has been shut down effectively because of the over a year of curfews and so on. People have lost their livelihoods, people have had to migrate, it's been very disruptive. And then you see that foreigners can come here and party to their heart's content. In the meantime, senior strategist in the Ministry of Tourism, Delano Sievright, insists state agencies will continue taking corrective action. We just want to reiterate that what happened at Rick's Cafe is unacceptable and disgraceful and has really hurt the industry and the many faithful members of the industry are abided by the COVID protocols. It is a terrible development and people have all right to be angry, they have all right to be upset and we are working to ensure that that will never happen again. PPD has acted, the JPD has acted, the Ministry of Local Government has acted and will continue to act. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.